Oh, hey guys. I just thought I'd check back in on my uh, my break between therapy sessions. So I'm, uh, I'm in the care of Nurse Ratchet at the moment and we're working on, on uh, ironing out a few kinks in the mind. So uh, forgive me, forgive my disappearance off YouTube. You know, fate finally caught up with me and um, the, the power of the gulags actually uh, run out at the moment. They've run out, run out of juice because they were they were running it through the bird feeder man's mind, trying to correct it. And um, you know, it took a lot of a lot of gigahertz. I tell you, kilojoules, whatever the hell they call it. I can't even think straight anymore. What do you think, Gerald? Gerald's a silent stoic of the uh, the cuckoo's nest. You know, at least I'm not alone, and they're treating me right. They gave me Gerald for company and you know he's been been my best friend in years sadly so you'll have to forgive the hair it can't be helped you know this is what happens when they run enough electricity through your system at least they gave me this fancy jacket to keep me safe so anyway i'm sorry i didn't get back to all your comments it, um, it's a lot of work for a traumatized bird feeder man and you know some of you do a really great job to, to get back to the comments and um, you know for me it, it gets a bit overwhelming i can't keep track of everything and um, i gotta stop that eh? it's a great disguise at least i bought this you know if they've come for me in the park i can be like you know you've already got me Let me get right. So yeah, anyway, anyway, um, just a bit of a bit of lame attempted humour, but um, you know, it, there's nothing funny about it. You know, anyone who's who's actually been through electro shock torture or, um, you know, therapy as they call it, there's nothing funny about that. But um, you know, I went through the the remote version of it where they hit you with a lot of electricity and. You are left shaking for a long time afterwards. Um, I guess it's the refined modern version, and so I joke just as a way to, um, you know, alchemize, as they say, and try to heal from it with humor. Um, and it works for me. It's about the only thing that does. You know, the humor does get very dark sometimes, but it does help. You know. It's, it's probably not right to laugh at everything, but um, I, I know the bastards who do this, they hate it when you make fun of them and you laugh at them and mock them. You know, they really don't like that. Um, they prefer you to be angry, you know. They can deal with anger and reaction, but they can't easily deal with people who make fun of them and satire them and whatnot. Uh, Anyways, I did want to sincerely apologize about the, the lack of getting back to comments and uh, I really do appreciate them. I do appreciate the well thought out comments and um, it's just hard for me because honestly I'm not, like there's no reason not to get back to people but um, I'm not at the level of most of you guys, like, I don't have a lot of spiritual knowledge and I don't even know how, you know, I don't even know how to do a lot of these comments justice, but um, I do appreciate them and I, I know I probably look like a bit of a dick for not getting back to everyone and um, I shouldn't have abandoned my channel like that, so I'm, you know, I'm sincerely sorry for it. Um, so I've made a shit ton of videos over the last four, whatever it's been, six months. I haven't posted many of them um, just because of the, the work of how many comments there would be to them and then having to go back to the video and you'd have to pretty much watch it again and remember what you said and um, you know it is a lot of work um, so I've held off posting them but I do want to post a, a shit ton of my old videos just because I, I do think it will help one or two people out there that might come across my channel one day, you know. Because I know for me, like, I've spoken about this in another video that I will post. Um, 
<clears throat> it's a damn lonely experience like when your health is really bad and you're lying there and you're alone you know your family are ghosts to you and yeah just a, a channel I'm overlapping a video that I've already made so I won't elaborate too much but it just helps to find someone who's got a lot of content and they're putting a bit of themselves out there um, I did also want to say like yeah I, I let someone down who I was email who I emailed and they email, emailed me back and yeah I'm, I'm sorry I kind of ghosted you I just um, I just have a fucking ADHD on steroids brain and it's really hard to concentrate and you know follow through like um, I'm, I'm really flawed like that so yeah I'm sorry to you and you deserve better your, your, your email back to me was great and I'm not actually used to um, I'm not used to that I'm used to being ignored you know it's, it's, it's quite alien when someone treats you well and yeah so I'm sorry man I, I should have done a lot better and um, I do appreciate you you know you, you're actually the reason why I made my channel pretty much because you're asking how everyone was doing and so you know I thought fuck man it's the least I can do is to you know to, to make a video or express myself and yeah <laughs> this is how I'm doing <laughs> this is how I'm doing yeah I picked up a fucking giraffe from a, a you know one of those uh, I don't know one of those cheap stores he was sitting by himself abandoned on the shelf and uh, you know he's a cute little bastard and uh, I don't know it helps you know how long do you want it how long can someone wallow around and like you know that horrible dark shit I don't know I need a bit of light in the in my life so yeah he's my my spokesperson that um you know he, he's there to front me front for me when I'm telling tall stories Anyway, I thought he's his amazing creature, amazing craftsmanship, but um, it's a bit of an off-topic thing anyways. Um, so you're just checking in anyways, and you know, I'm sorry I ditched my channel, and I am going to drop a shit ton of videos, and I don't know, they, they might all be completely like dull and mundane and boring for people, but who knows, you know, one or two people might like them, and it's just me speaking about just speaking my mind you know um, so whatever like I, I really like that kind of content and I'm not saying I love my stuff but you know I love people's just to see people's everyday shit and you know I understand like not many people want to put themselves out there for various reasons it's probably wise but I don't know I just just think fuck it you know it's what I want to do so yeah these candles are lovely by the way um, beeswax candles you know they burn clean and they actually they help my anxiety they're kind of just the the scent um, the, the beeswax scent is lovely and the you know the the um, natural flame it's kind of like gazing into a campfire obviously nowhere near as cool but it's it's practical you know you can do it at home and um, yeah they're lovely I sometimes keep them in the van as well and on a hot day they they smell really nice so um, I don't know something maybe with with getting if you've got a bit of anxiety in that and it's also fun to like play around with the wax as well. Yeah. It's a nice little prop as well to make it like madman kind of videos where you're going like whoa, whoa, and there's like a big fucking shadow flickering at the back you know when you get all the light all the light right and it looks quite aesthetic you know if you're going for the, the cliche you might as well live it up if they're going to call you mad and look the part eh? like 
You know. Whoa. You know, this shit can actually get you doing the Joker laugh. Uh, I'm indulging in the ramble now, but um, yeah, it, it can make you do the Joker laugh. And I see, uh, you know, there's truthers in that that uh, I don't know if I'll get into it because it's just another topic, but uh, I won't actually get into that. But yeah. it's, it's fucking crazy that this stuff that the effect that prolonged stress campaigns can have on you and can like laugh uncontrollably. I think that's all possibly about your body generating endorphins to deal with the pain. So you, you just start laughing uncontrollably. But anyways, yeah, just checking in. I hope my little, my little lame skit didn't offend anyone, but, um, you know, I would only I only joke about it because I have been through it. Not the not the old school like take you in there and do it. You know, do the not that. But 